Editing existing and creating new Office documents for Excel and Word can be done on the iPad too. Uh, the program that I found that works is a program called Quick Office. It can be downloaded from the App Store. Uh, it's fairly inexpensive. I think it's ten or fifteen dollars. Uh, and from it, you can go ahead and edit Excel files, edit Word documents. And also create new documents. Uh, it gives you a, a 2003 and 2007 file format for new documents that you can create. What I want to talk about in this video is how do we actually transfer documents into this program. And to do that we need to use the Apple iTunes program on our computer and sync the computer up. And so we're going to do that right now. To transfer files to the iPad and to move files back and forth, all we have to do is go into our iTunes program, uh, have our iPad plugged in and synced up, and then we simply go into the Apps tab up here, and go down, we'll find our apps down below, and there'll be other apps depending on what you've downloaded and what you haven't downloaded. Um, the Quick Office one is the one that we're concerned with. And as you can see, there's a couple files in here. Uh, a lot of these are just sample files. We can go to Add and Browse Through. You can find your or find your files that way, uh, or you can save to, and you can go ahead and copy your files back to your PC. But what I find a bit easier is you can actually go and select files that you want to move over. And I'm going to select four files here on another screen. Draw a box around them. Simply click and then you can drag these files over. When you drag these files over, you just release and they'll be placed there. Now if we wanted to save something back to our computer, uh, what we could do is simply grab one of these files and we'll drag that out of here. And it's on another monitor so you can't see it, but what that's doing is actually copying it back. Now, uh, what you have to worry about when you do a copy like this is the version. You have to know which one is actually uh, modified last and I'll show you the error I'm getting or the message I'm getting. These files are actually the same file but when I went to copy that back onto my desktop it's telling me that the file is already there and so when you're moving files back and forth you're going to want to make sure that you're not overwriting the last file that you updated so just be careful with that and uh, you should find that this is another valuable tool uh, to utilize your Apple iPad for the for, for business use.